everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. This video is about mutual assistance groups, mags, teams, tribes, crew, whatever you want to call it. Um, and who do you let in? How, what about the vetting process? Um, what requirements are you going to have? It's a tough thing to trust somebody enough to let them into your inner circle. Um, we talked a lot lately about bad things that could happen if somebody decides to leave in other videos. They come back causing problems or, you know, they want to take their stuff, all those kind of things. So the vetting process needs to be very in-depth. Friends, family, people you've known for a long time, that's probably the best place to start. But even then, things can still go bad. So this is a very important topic. Also, are you going to set requirements for how much food do they bring, food storage? Well, what about water storage? What about medical? What about firearms, ammunition, all those things? Are you going to set requirements for each one of those? Or are you just going to do a food requirement and not cover their basis? Um, just trying to get you guys to think about this. <clears throat> Mag, group, team, tribe, crew, that's all super important stuff. Um, but we have to be very careful about who we pick. Because in my mind, we need to have a shared, you need to at least have a shared morality. Maybe belief, you don't have to be the exact same religion, but maybe the same religious background. Um, like Christian belief system, or whatever it is that you choose to have as your requirement um, for those people around you. So you have a set of moral values that's similar. You, I think you need to at least share that. That's very important. Um, so, you also, during an event or post-event, you have to decide who shows up. If somebody shows up. A person that's physically incapable of doing anything, um, but has a whole bunch of food storage. Um, do you let them in? Okay, they have food storage, but how long is that going to last if they're not able to do anything, to produce more and stuff like that? Things you got to think about. I'm not saying don't let them in, but I'm just saying that you got to think about that. Or some young dude shows up in your door, you know, up at your, uh, at your gate uh, with nothing, but he's a former special forces sniper or a recon sniper or. You know, he was a SEAL team dude, or a uh, ranger, or something like that. Um, or they are a emergency room doctor, or an EMT, or a blacksmith, or a master gardener. Who are you going to let in? What requirements? This is all stuff you got to think about prior to, like now, as you're forming your groups. What requirements? Okay, everybody has to have, like, here's a good thing for me. Good idea. <clears throat> it's a strict requirement, so it's kind of hard to meet. And you can have people in, you can allow people in, like on a temporary basis, okay, this is like your trial period, and you got to get like this much, this all this stuff in a certain period of time or something like that, or be working towards it. Say like 100 pounds of food, uh, 100 gallons of water, um, a primary weapon system that's combat capable, aka a semi-automatic rifle, um, a handgun, um, and say maybe 500 rounds for your primary and 200 rounds or 100 or 200 rounds for your secondary for pistol. Um, an IFAC, um, maybe a little more advanced med kit, um, water purification things, a bug out bag, a patrol bag, um, tactical gear, um, proper clothing, you know, those things, basic requirements. Um, do they meet everything? No, they don't. Do they meet all requirements? No, of course not. But be thinking about this and talk about it amongst your group. You guys are going to be talking about this, voting on this, what kind of things you're going to require to allow somebody into your mag. Um, and then vetting them also. You know, moral beliefs. Um, if you have the ability to do criminal background checks, do it. Why not? Um, <clears throat> also, um, I would say political beliefs is pretty important. Um, you don't have to agree on everything politically. Almost nobody agrees on everything politically. Same with everything religious. But they need to be on common ground. Like, I would want a group formed around, you know, conservative, constitutionally minded, um, believers in Christ. And the share of morality, the share of vision also of the United States and who we are our constitutional republic, um, and a desire to return to that, whether it's possible or not. At least that's the grounding of what kind of government, what form of government they deem is necessary or is good to have. And that's my personal opinion. I'm not saying it has to be yours. Um, Libertarian-minded, maybe. 
fine. Um, God gave us free will. As long as it doesn't impede on others' free will or hurt other people, I believe you're free to do whatever you want. Um, so, be very careful. Take time. Uh, get them in slowly. Maybe allow them into your outer group, temporary basis, and then kind of just over time allow them in. Um, and allowing them in doesn't mean anybody ever has all the information about what everybody has. But it gives you a baseline. <clears throat> it gives you the proper time to vet somebody, see what kind of worker they are, how dedicated they are, what kind of time are they willing to put in, what kind of effort they're willing to put in, what kind of things are they willing to drop to be there for you or for others in the group to help out. That's very important. You need a group of people that will pretty much drop anything to come help when you need it. Uh, that's very vital. And you need to be doing that for each other on a regular basis. Uh, working together, helping each other out, accomplishing things, uh, having food storage meetings, uh, having your, your monthly trainings or bi-weekly tactical trainings, whatever it is. Uh, have your different trainings. And you can have, you know, the men go off and do tactical training. Whoever, not just men, whoever is interested in doing tactical training can do that. Well, maybe the others are meeting somewhere else and doing canning or they're, bucket, they're putting food in buckets, different things like that. You're going to have to have division of labor. That, I mean, that's a fact. Everybody can't do everything, and um, it's going to have to be divided up. So kind of figure out those roles <clears throat> along the same lines as leadership. Throughout the, all these processes, you'll see who's natural leaders, who takes charge, who has good ideas, and things like that. So you get to know each other. You get to That helps with the vetting process, helps make sure you get good people in there to uh, mitigate the possibility of problems down the road. So that's very vital. Take it seriously. Please go out and do the things. Get in the meat world. Meet people. Form these groups. Form your groups. And you can start. I mean, you got to start. Even if you have to start off with somebody you don't even know, uh, it's a slow process. But you got to start. So please start. Um, please, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Hit the like button and comment below and share the videos. Please do the things, people. Team AP rocks. Prep a little every day. Prep it a peace of mind out of fear. I love you guys so much, and blessings to you and yours.